Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2. Don't know why that required a jump cut. I mean, it's literally been two seconds. Uh, so... Mm, I don't know if I talked about it in the last episode, but... There's this thing called Radical Remake, and it makes the skins of certain animals, such as the moose, look a lot better. As you can see, the male moose looks amazing! He looks like an actual moose. But I don't know what went wrong with the female moose. All I can say is that this is horrifying. Jesus H. Christ, that is... Just look at it, you can stare into its soul! Oh my goodness gracious. Anyways, welcome back to Zoo Tycoon $5,000 Challenge. Uh, we are making a lot more money. I mean, just a few, just a minute ago, I was at like $800. Now I'm suddenly at like, you know, almost $3,000. It's time for a new advertising campaign. Families love to blah, blah. If you have happy animals, you can get... <laughs> a, yeah, I don't have any of those animals. Thanks for the offer, though. I want to see the baby wolves. Look at the babu wolves! Wolf, uh, I can't really see you. The tree has a collider on it. <laughs> okay, still kind of hard to see you. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, there we go. No, that's an adult. You're not wanted here. Where'd the, where'd the baby go? Did it drown? That's a shame. Oh, well. Natural selection at its finest. <laughs> Seriously, though, there was two babies. Where'd the other one go? Hello? Baby? Oh, there we go. Here's a nice shot. Hello. Okay. And he instantly turns around, and now he's in the grass. So I can't really see him that well. What a bastard. Uh, so the main reason I wanted the Radical Remake is for the crocodile, if I could find him. I think I saw him over here. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell is going on? What? Oh, there we go. Oh, he was just dirty. Apparently he gets white when he's dirty. That makes sense. Here, I'll clean up the small poop. This cage is going to be a nightmare for fucking keepers. But I don't care. It looks good. There he is. Look at him. He looks like a proper sick-looking crocodilian feller. I can't... There we go. Look at that. Aw, yeah, son. Aw, yeah. Aw, yeah, mate. Oh, don't eat me. Okay, chill out, bro. Don't eat me. I'm like the crocodile hunter, except even more crazy. Okay, so we have a female. Let's grab a male. Is it just me or is the male, like, smaller? I think that's normal, probably, but I didn't expect it to be like that. Yeah, he's definitely smaller, right? Huh. Interesting. He has a little bit of a different pattern, too. He seems to be stuck. So I'll help, I'll help a brother out real quick. Oh yeah, he's definitely smaller. Wow. <laughs> nice. Alright. Marine Animal Tycoon Level 2 Award. Sweet. We got the Seahorse Bouncy Ride. Hell yeah. Alrighty, so one of my goals for this episode, is you may notice I have like this terrain around these two exhibits, except it's just like randomly blank. Well, I plan to... What the hell? It looked like the crocodile was like phasing through the wall. Its weather effect is not very nice. I don't like it. Wish I could turn it off. So I want to decorate uh, the surrounding areas a bit. Um, so that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. Is this kind of like a good viewing area over here? Huh. Not really. We're not too... Well, we don't care too much about looks, but I, I do want to make it look a little bit nice, you know? You know, get, get a few trees in there. So we'll start with the wetlands. And, well, first of all, let's go here. Try and find our wetlands. There we go. So, we wanted to throw in some water. You know, because it is the wetlands, after all. And the wetlands has lots of water. I hear. <laughs> so, animal hygiene. Oh, I'm pretty bad at hygiene. If you zoo can go 30 days at any of your animals. Ah, uh, I won't fall for it this time. No way, Jose. The last time I tried that, I failed and I had a lot less animals. So, yeah. Okay, so let's connect those, because that just makes sense. And we'll start throwing in some trees here. You know, just try and make it look a little nice in this area. Now that we're not giving 40% of our income away, 
we can really afford to kind of spam trees just a tad. I mean, they are kind of expensive. As you can see, I'm already kind of running low. But hey, who cares? Right? You know, we want it. We want to make this area look good since we're not going to put anything over here. You know, I'll have the guests. Okay, the new month started. There goes my precious money $1,200 in debt. Oh, God. <laughs> my dreams, my passions left unfinished. Uh, what a horrible day. What a horrible day. Maybe I should have put an animal over here. Hmm. 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 Oh, what a conundrum. I think I should, actually. This is, this is not a fr I gotta remember, this isn't like a freeform zoo. This is a challenge zoo. And therefore, it's about making money. That's why I started the other, the other series, because I wanted to express my creativity. You know? <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make another exhibit. We'll just leave it like that for now. Well, we're already out of debt. That didn't take too long at all. So what do we want to do? We could do an American beaver. That would fit the theme. We could do a warthog exhibit. They're not too big. They're pretty small. Yeah. It feels like they're, like, too small. Like, am I just playing more zoomed out than I normally do? Doesn't that seem really small for a warthog? I guess not, because, like, if we come over here... Where are the wolves? <laughs> Can't even see them. There we go. Hello. See, the wolf's actually a little bit bigger, but not much. And I feel like that's that's about right. I mean, even the rhino seems small. Oh, look, the camels are part of the Radical remake, too. I forgot. Look at that. Camels look great, too. At least their textures aren't messed up. <laughs> I don't know what went wrong with our female moose here. Maybe if I, like, crate moon crater. Yeah, something went wrong in the texture department with that shit. <laughs> oh, God. Shubango. Alrighty. How's our kangaroos doing? They endangered the lion lions offering your zoo a free endangered species that you don't currently have. However, the alliance wants proof that your zoo is committed to conserving endangered species. Provide the alliance with photos of three different endangered species from your zoo, and they'll give you a free animal. Okay. Do I even have endangered? I mean, sh I'll try. I don't. I'm pretty sure. I, I have to check. Take photos of three. Yeah, okay. We're gonna get a free animal, but I gotta check. Low risk. God damn it. <laughs> Mooses are totally endangered. Low risk. Everything in my zoo is low risk because they're fucking cheap. <laughs> Alright, well, it didn't have a time limit on it, so maybe we're okay. Pretty sure Gemsbach are not in danger. Looks like the red kangaroo's got a new model, too. Oh, no! They're messed up, too! Oh, my God! Jesus. Well, you know what? I don't really go down and look at my kangaroos that often, so... Oh, no. Looks like these guys are stuck. Shit. Shit. Oh, I hear my dog. I'm gonna go ahead and jump cut real quick, and I'll let him out. These guys look like they're stuck behind a rock. Are you just dirty, or is your texture model messed up, too? No, 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 you're just dirty. Did they get a revamp? I can't actually tell. They look good, right? But it's hard to say. <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, we're back. I have raised a little bit of money, and I've determined that in order to bring guests over to this side of the zoo, because obviously there's, like, no one here, no one's donated anything for my poor crocodiles yet, and I love my crocodiles, and so they deserve it. Uh, and we're gonna have, like, really expensive warthogs over here, so I've decided to put in, like, a little eatery sit, kind of, <laughs> little eatery sit area, you know, or totally. Uh, over here... You know, just to give it a little, give the guests a reason to come over here, you know? Because they're not coming over here, and I don't like that one bit. No, sorry, I did not. How many did I do? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think that's right. I hope so. There we go. That looks right. Okay. So we have that. And we want to to fill it in because we're not trying to do fancy shit here. 
Taking all my money for pass. There we go. Luckily, these pass are pretty cheap, so it didn't hurt me too bad there. You know what? I feel like we need an archway in our lives, you know? Because you never get to use archways. And, you know, because they never fit. Because they look bad. <laughs> and that still kind of looks bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it looks bad. I, li I like the idea of the arches, but they're never good. <laughs> they never look good. Okay, so, we want to put in some toilets. Some toilets. Yes, indeed. So we'll get some toilets. And we want some eateries. We also want some education-based things. Well, we'll do some... We'll do a discovery kiosk. I should do something new, shouldn't I? I feel like I really should. Let's get a gift card. You know, everyone loves gift cards. Yeah. And... Let's get a... Let's research a hamburger stand. We'll get a hamburger stand up in here. I wish I could research multiple things at once. But I can't! I'm not bitter. We should get, like, a drink stand as well. I'm trying to find one. You got a coffee drink stand. Nah, I don't think I want to. Let's just stick with the classic soda stand. Being lazy like. Did I finish the hamburger? No, not even close. <laughs> okay. And we'll get a we'll get a water drink stand too, because we're fancy. I don't know. I haven't unlocked it yet. Let's get a cheesecake cart. Candy cane cart? Ooh, tempting. See, I feel like I need to research these. I don't know why the other ones are unlocked. I guess that's just the way it works now. I think you get a pretzel cart. Let's do that. For symmetry's sake, we need a cart on each side. There we go. And... Oh! Hamburger stand is complete. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. We should uh, research an education thing. But what? What is a good education thing to... What fits over here? Mmm, the tough calls. I'm gonna go ahead and be lazy and just do that. <laughs> and we'll get our hamburger stand wherever it is. It's hard to find in all these different variations. There we go. We found it. We did it. Alrighty. Are trash cans under here? No. How about here? There they are. Hello, trash cans. Let's put some right here. No, nope. don't do that. Right there. There we go. And we'll put some right here. There we go. Let's put another donation box here. For the Crocs. Because people are going to be here, hopefully. And that's good. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. And I placed my tropical aquarium. Yes, indeed. And uh, we need to put in our seating now. We'll go with the classic, classic pic picnic table. It's a picnic table. Yes, indeed. Get plenty of seating in here. It'd be really sad when no one uses this place, because I feel like that's gonna happen. <laughs> but hey. Alrighty, so next next agenda is we're going to get the Warthog exhibit designed, which will go right about here. And once we've done that, I will decorate this area up a bit with trees and make it look nice. Because I do want to make it look nice, kind of, but I don't want to go to like such huge scales like I was planning. Kind of like this, you know. It's not very big, but it looks nice. Yeah. It's so hard to get people to leave the damn middle of the p zoo, because everyone in this fucking zoo likes to... For eat food instead of go look at animals. <laughs> Fat asses. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Ooh, I could have gotten these. Not the Jurassic Park one. Yeah, I'd have to research it. It costs 600 You know what, man? We need some variety. Let's go for it. Do I even have picnic... And of course, the new month started! Naturally. I only have two picnic tables in this entire zoo. Wow. <laughs> What a ripoff. Hey, we hit four stars! Yeah! Woo! Oh my gosh. We did it, guys. We did it. 
We hit four stars. One more star to go. Oh yeah, that that's a nice looking gate right there, isn't it? Yeah, indeed, that's a nice looking gate. <laughs> How many uh, visitors? We got 24 in October. We got $7,468 in donations, though. That's pretty good. I don't suppose my poor freaking Nile Crocodile. Nine donations, $262. Alrighty, just wanted to make sure it wasn't like glitched out or anything. Number of animals, number of species, educational habitats. Well, that's pretty high. We're doing pretty good. We're doing good. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. And we're less in debt than we were last time. Although I did have, like, $1,200 I was about to spend uh, to start working on the Warthog exhibit, and now I can't, which is a little unfortunate. Look, there's one person over here. One... And she threw her trash on the ground! What the fuck? <laughs> There's four trash cans here, and you're the only person here! Really, I mean, honestly... I really want to. I want to kill you so badly. But I don't want to take a hit on my zoo, so I won't. <laughs> you're lucky. Okay, we have a little more people over here. What is, that looks like dirt on the path, but that's not a thing in this game. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got a few people over here. That's good, that's good. Making progress. Where's all my camels? Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna do the tables. I totally forgot. Okay, let's get rid of those. And let's get my tables in. And a bit of a lag spike there. There we go. That looks good. I mean, as far as, when I say it looks good, I mean, like, as it, uh, we're on a budget here, kind of looks good. <laughs> I think, I think literally the only thing that I'd be okay with having in a zoo that is, like, in an infinite money zoo would be this exhibit. And even then, I, I feel like it could be improved, but it's still decent. So, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to complain too much. Everything else is pretty meh. This one's pretty good too. Cuz I, you know, I started to have more money. Although it's probably cost me in the long run taking me longer to get the money I need to make another exhibit. But hey, it's the price we pay for beauty, right? So, I feel like I want this chain link fence. Have I used this before? I have. I used it on the moose exhibit. That's right. Okay. Well, how about we use the wooden rail fence? Hopefully the... Did I already use this? It's possible I used it on... I'll, I used the wooden fence then. Let's do that. I need to clean this exhibit real quick. Sorry guys, you got shitty zookeepers. Also like, all my original manta rays died of old age, so yeah. And I don't know if I have uh, breeding pairs left, so we'll just see how that works out. That ex God damn a zoo tycoon. That is not near anything else that it could, it should be able to reach it. Damn it. Come here, stupid bitch. Oh, when did they have a kid? Moose 7 is also male. Probably why its texture isn't messed up. Okay. Alrighty. We got a we got a decent amount of money. Let's start putting down our hens. Um how best to start this? I think what we'll do is like this, like that, and yes, okay. That looks good. Boom. So we want to take it this way. We gotta raise more money though. <laughs> Not gonna be a very large exhibit, but I never really wanted it to. So yeah, now we wait. Whoa. I looked a little weird for a sec there. Here, nice butt, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, bro. <laughs> that's, that's pretty trippy, man. Look, I can see through his eyes now. <laughs> oh, God. The horror of it all is not lost on me. Scholar's Achievement Award for earning more than $25,000 in educational donations. Alrighty. Sweet. Alrighty guys, I think we have about enough money to start working on the Warthog exhibit. So, I've gone ahead and finished the fence, obviously. 
We're gonna go ahead and fill in our exhibit with Savannah because that's what they like, yes indeed. And uh, we'll give them a tiny little watering hole in this area. A yeah, proper watering hole. Not a lot of water, but you know, some. So we could put a baobab tree, but honestly I don't really think they look that good. In real life they look cool, but in the game, not so much. Okay, only $60 for like what appears to be like a several hundred year old baobab tree. That's a pretty sweet deal, if you ask me. Alrighty. So go ahead and plop down a, a copse of trees, you know. Yes, we don't really want trees to be the focus of this exhibit, but you know, there's some trees here and there. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt no one. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really like this tree. Let me get rid of it. <laughs> Just stick another one right here. And one final one about. I want to put it. There we go. That's where I wanted it. <laughs> Alrighty. So mainly going to be focusing on the savanna grass here. We have a few different options. So we can work it in. This is probably my favorite. Or that. That's also pretty good. I think we'll mainly have this in here because it's kind of more more luscious, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so it seems like it would be more near trees and stuff. And that is my story, and I'm sticking with it. Yeah, I don't like that. It's phasing through the wall. Do that. We get a little bit out here, like, you know, it's spread out, but it, it's there. Okay. And then we'll get some of this bad boy stuff. Say, like that. You know, I don't really like that, actually. It looks too white. So I'm not going to use it. I don't really like this either. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I think it just looks bad. Okay, well this is a savanna, and there's lots of grass in the savanna, so it makes sense to kind of spam it. You know, I got the money, I definitely have the money. <laughs> so we'll just kind of do a lag night. Wherever there's dirt, I'm kind of leaving it. <laughs> and I think that looks okay. Let me uh, get a get a view. God damn it, did not want to go in the crocodile exhibit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and get a rock in here, right about there. Let's make it a larger rock, though. Yes, we like that. We got another one over there. And how about one more over here? Get some smaller rocks to kind of fill in the spaces. Like, there are smaller rocks tumbling off of larger rocks. And that will look fantabulous. Nice indeed. Okay. You know, for savanna rocks, they don't really look like savanna rocks. Look like they might fit the wetlands more. They look kind of like wetlands rocks, actually. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There we go. I'm no creative genius, but I try. I try. Alrighty, I don't think warthogs eat bananas, so let's not do that. <laughs> I love these berries. I don't know why, but I just love the look of the berries in this game. <laughs> it's so dumb. Okay. Actually, since these guys have troughs, I prefer the trough look, because to me it makes more sense that they would eat from a trough. So that's what I'm going to do. But it also feels like it needs to be against a wall, so... I'm going to do that, and we'll do that. That gets rid of the grass automatically, which is pretty nice. And maybe we should... Yeah, we'll get him a scratching post here. There we go. That fills in that space. Oh, I want this. Why can't we have a small one? I'll just get this one, I guess. Why is there no small concrete shelter? Because that's what I want. There we go. Let's take a final look, even though it's nighttime. 
I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good indeed. Let me go take a look inside, of course. It's a little bit hard to see with the long grass, but that's kind of the idea. I mean, it's supposed to be long grass, as it is a savanna. That rock's going to be a problem for the zookeeper. Let me just move it a tad. There we go. Fantastic! So we have our, like, lawner grass and, like, the forested area. You know, a few lawner grass here and there, but mostly shorter grass. We have our troughs. We have our little watering hole. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. Very nice. Okay, now we just need to raise $10,000. Yeah. And then we'll be good. I think what I want to do while I wait, though, is spend more money. <laughs> I want to have like a viewing platform here. I haven't used any in this zoo. I like to use them. They have their purposes, after all. I don't really want to pay money for one though, but it looks like if I want one that doesn't look like shit, I'm going to have to, so I guess we just got to live with that. You know, we got a decent amount of money. You know, it's not too bad. Alrighty. I'm going to take in the path a little bit closer, I think. Because we want the path to kind of go through here, and then we'll worry about the path going onward later. That's kind of how we want to take it for now. And we should probably try and put something here. I don't know what, but that is a problem for another day. Alrighty, how long is this viewing platform going to take? Not too long. I will be back in the future, hopefully when we have enough for... Oh, it just became the new month. December of year two. Gosh, we're almost into our year three. Wow. I'll be back when I have enough money for some warthogs. Okay, guys, I finally returned. It's actually been a little while. I've just been sitting here waiting. And I was able to buy the warthog right before January of year three started. It took me a little bit longer because I had to buy a male manta ray because I only had two females and all the rest had died of old age. And I was worried about losing them, so I went ahead and bought an extra one. So they're covered now. But we got our warthog. And he's down here somewhere. Can't see him, but we'll find him. There he is. Hello. You're so, you're so small and tiny. How adorably. We did it. Hopefully we have more guests come over here now. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next week for some more uh, Zoo Tycoon 2 Challenge Zoo. Bye-bye.